Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and I am, uh, well, I'm seven and a half thousand feet up the side of Mount Shasta in Northern California. I've been on holiday for the last, you know, seven days or so. I've been at the Oregon Country Fair, which is, you know, a bunch of hippies basically doing awesome hippie stuff, if you're into that. Uh, but uh, uh, this is Mount Shasta. Mount Shasta is 14,179 feet high. It's not the hugest of mountains, however, it is a hugely prominent peak. There is nothing around it nearby which even matches its height. It's 10,000 feet higher than anything in the neighborhood, and so it stands tall above the landscape. And, you know, that means there's been a lot of stories and it, lit stuff written about it. It's, you know, apparently a very spiritual place in the, the local Native American mythology. But uh, it's actually a volcano. It last erupted a couple of hundred years ago, and it's about 300,000 years old, and in the the time that it's been active, it's you know built itself up to like 85 cubic kilometers apparently, which or sorry, 85 cubic miles of rock and dust and everything. And as I said, I'm only halfway up. That thing up there, uh, it still has snow. You see in the middle of July, so <laughs> it's a it's a long way up. Uh, it erupts roughly every 600 to 800 years. The last eruption was a couple of hundred years ago, so we're not expecting anything anytime soon. Hopefully, I'll be able to get off this trip and uh, Orion will get home and be able to make faces there as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, Mount Shasta. It's a stratovolcano. It's one of the tallest volcanoes in, in uh, California. Uh, it's the southernmost volcano in the Cascadia Arc. Now, the Cascadia mountain range essentially is where the Pacific Plate is subducting underneath the North American Plate. And that means down in, in the Bay Area near San Francisco and down in LA, the Pacific Plate is sliding along slight side, right? And so that's like a slip fault kind of thing. But uh, up this far north, you have basically the two plates are colliding and the Pacific plate is slipping underneath the North American plate. And what happens is that material is then melted and because it was floating on top, it is lighter and so it wants to flow up to the top and that's why you get a lot of volcanoes in the Cascadia mountain range. Uh, and of course, the more famous volcano in that range is Mount St. Helens, which of course blew up in a big way in the 1980s. And no reason to expect that this would do anything different whenever its time comes. Anyway, uh, I'm Scott Manley. Uh, have a great day. Fly safe.